To measure the weight of something, we can either use digital or mechanical scales. We can use bathroom scales to measure our weight. Kitchen scales can be used to weigh ingredients when cooking. The post office used scales to record the weight of parcels and letters. Airports use scales to weigh people's luggage before boarding a plane. Supermarkets use scales to measure the weight of food, such as meat, veg and fruit. When measuring weight, you have to read the scales carefully. Always make sure that the scales are set at zero before you put your item onto the scale. If the scales are mechanical, make sure that you are reading from the correct scale. For example, on a mechanical kitchen scale, you can either measure in grams or kilograms. Make sure that you look to see what division the scale goes up in. For example, this scale goes up in 20 grams. Here are the grams. 20 grams, 40 grams, 60 grams and here is 100 grams. Here are the kilograms. On this scale, not all divisions are labelled. If we needed to measure 230 grams of flour, we would need to look at the scale. Here is 200 grams. Then we have 220 grams and then 240 grams. In between 220 grams and 240 grams would be 230 grams. Digital scales display the weight of an item as a number. They usually provide you with the option of measuring an object in a variety of different units. For example, on a digital kitchen scale, you can choose to measure in grams or kilograms. On bathroom scales, you can choose to measure in kilograms or imperial measures of stones and pounds.